Hey guys, Dan here, aka Wolf, and I've avoided talking about the HBO Last of Us series because it seems like that news is readily available, and there's really no reason for me to rehash what's already out there, but plenty of yous seem to want to know what I think about all this. So before we get into that, the last time I talked about the HBO series was way back in December of 2020, where in short I said that while I was happy for Naughty Dog that The Last of Us was optioned by HBO, I wasn't exactly excited about a television adaptation, feeling that it was too soon and that video games are simply an apex medium for telling stories, when and where possible. And while I do agree with the latter, I should fix the record by saying that I am officially excited for the series, for whatever that may or may not mean to you. I'm a big fan of that Pedro Pascal. Loved the guy in Mandalorian, Narcos, that dude that got his eyes popped out in Game of Thrones, and as the crazy wish man in Wonder Woman 84. And even though these kinds of things don't exactly matter, he does have the hair and the face shape of Joel. And while I only know Bella Ramsey from a brief but standout role as Liana Mormont, no, I didn't see that the worst witch show with my niece Stephanie 12 times over a single weekend, but I'm sure it was nice. I like that Bella Ramsey well enough, and she seems to make sense for casting a relative unknown to play Ellie. And if that Neil Druckmann guy liked whatever he saw during the screen test between these two, then that's not only good enough for me, but that's downright exciting. So they say that Gabriel Luna was cast as Tommy, and while I don't really see it, and Pedro and Gabriel don't really look like brothers to me, I guess it don't really matter that much, since Hollywood has a pretty big history of casting actors together that don't look related. I'm not really familiar with Luna's work. I know he was in Terminator Dark Fate, but I never saw that. And he was in some weird looking movie called Gravy. But he's not really part of the casting news that gets me excited. But that's okay, because they cast Merle Dandridge to play Marlene, the Queen Firefly. Which is pretty good, since she's the same person that plays Marlene in them The Last of Us video games. That's the kind of news that gets me excited, and it's rewarding to know that at least one member of the original cast will be reprising a role. Which brings us to the troublesome question of Bill, aka W. Earl Brown. Which as many of you know, and as many of you has added me or messaged me, it doesn't look like he got the part. Which seems heartbreaking and kind of backwards considering the actor was the archetype for the role in the video game. I, I, I was spending so much time gaming that I'd kind of weaned myself off of it. And it was during this time period that I got a call from my agent. And I had never done motion capture before. I'd never worked on a game before. So um, he said, uh, there's this new Sony game and you're the prototype for it. Do you, do you want to do, do it? Well, long story short, I had to audition for the role that W. Earl Brown was the prototype for. Now, if you've been a Psycho fan and are closely monitoring his Instagram and Twitter, then you know Earl's been in Canada filming some kind of project. The same country they're filming The Last of Us. But he's allegedly in Toronto, and they're supposedly filming the show in Calgary, and those places couldn't be further apart than my parents on their honeymoon. So either he didn't get the part, or for some reason, Bill isn't in the show. Way back in March, Luke Lemonard shared on our Discord the personal Vimeo of Canadian actress Heather Dirksen, doing an audition for the role of Tess. And some of the unique dialogue in this audition sheds a light on how different in the details, but same in the spirit, we can expect the show to be from the video games. And the fact that the actress took the video down almost as soon as she posted it lends credence to the fact that she was reading lines they gave for the role, even if the version we hear in the audition ends up being somewhat different from the final cut of the show. In the audition, Tess is talking to Rob. It. You know, the double crossing gun runner that looks like Braun from the Game of Thrones? Yeah, I am. But instead of wanting to know where her guns are, she wants to know what he's done with her batteries. Truck batteries, to be precise. And he tells her that he's traded it for a pillow, still in the packaging. This is kind of interesting to me because it shows two items that represent opposites. The utility of the batteries and the comfort of an unopened pillow 20 years after the end of the manufacturing era. This tells us that they're going to be exploring different aspects of the human condition. Different aspects of survival that make sense in this world. But we simply haven't seen it in the video games in exactly the same way. And to be honest, I'm all for that. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. And that's the two amazing people whom together form the heart of The Last of Us. And of course, I'm talking about Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, the original actors for Joel and Ellie. And while many writers and game designers played a big part in the game's success, I think we can all agree that it was Troy and Ashley's performances in chemistry that really sold this whole thing and made it into the masterpiece we've all come to love. Now as fans, we're reasonable people most of the time, and we understand that it wouldn't make sense to cast these actors as their video game counterparts. But I think a great way to honor them in the show would be to cast Ashley Johnson as Ellie's mother Anna and to cast Troy as Ellie's father. You know, 
and flashbacks of something. You want to bring tears to the eyes of millions of fans and make us leap for joy while we're watching the shows in our living rooms? Then you do something like that. You show it in the first episode. Anyway, I've pretty much said my piece on the Last of Us HBO series. At least with as much as we know right now in July of 2021. If this video meant something to use, you can help me build something great by subscribing and sharing the good vibes and good spores of this content across the four corners of the internet. You can stay connected by joining my Discord and chatting it up with me and other members of the Wolf Pack, where we're always keeping it positive and focusing on the fun. Just click on the Discord link in the description. Follow me on Twitter. Show me pictures of the creatures in your wolf pack. And don't forget that I got other videos that may provide you with something you didn't know you were searching for. Until next time, I'll catch you in the wilderness of the mental. I had to audition for the role that W. Earl Brown was the prototype for.